You're God. talking about the Earth I being this, flat. Thousands was, of scientists have looked thing. into it. You think they're all wrong? That's so insane. You haven't looked into it. I So you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. It gets wider in the middle. And so Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. So it's not actually a sphere. It's not actually a sphere. All I'm saying is when I look at all of it, when I look at the photographic evidence, or I look at the fact that we haven't been back since 1972, when I look at the fact that no humans except the Apollo astronauts have ever gone through the Van Allen radiation belt, the fact that no one's even done a flyby around the moon since then, it seems weird to me. When I look at the press conference and I see Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong and uh, Michael Collins nervous and weird and obviously, like, being deceptive after they came back. You can see on the back of his shirt a couple of upticks on either side where you would expect wires to come in on either side of that harness. They're often portraying that this is live. Of course, these things are fully choreographed and edited in advance to make sure that there's nothing too obvious. Look CGI to me. That gives away that this is a suspension in front of a blue screen hoax. The moon landing stopped in 1972 and we haven't been back. We haven't been beyond the Van Allen belts. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space, through the waves of radiation. So, uh, so, so you spin, you know, when you spin pizza dough, it kind of flattens out. It gets wider in the middle and so Earth, throughout its life, even when it formed, it was spinning. And it got a little wider at the equator than it does at the poles. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate, and officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear shaped. But what? No, so, I could be wrong. It could be real. There's too many things. It could you be don't real, but in. they've been faking them so much they look like that's all those other fake ones. You've probably seen images like these from NASA. Grand and beautiful scenes of the cosmos and worlds beyond our own. I've always wondered who makes these and how do they do it? This is Robert Hurt and Tim Pyle, two multimedia artists at IPAC Caltech. Yes, the You see that boat and that buoy disappear right here. There you go. Gone out of sight. Not around the so called ball earth. It's all due to perspective, that simple. And that is, that's, in my opinion, is what the, uh, the globular Earth theorists have done. They've just eliminated what they didn't know. The more honest approach is the flat Earth approach, where you say, well, we don't know what's at the ends, but, but the ends are there. 